This Friday marked one year since the Cuban embassy in the United States came under attack by a gunman. On April 30, 2020, Cuban-born citizen Alexander Alasso fired 32 shots from a semi-automatic rifle against Cuba's diplomatic headquarters in Washington. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident and it only caused damage to the building. The, to this day, the U.S. government has not issued a statement condemning the act. The Cuban foreign ministry has denounced the dangers of the U.S. government's dismissive attitude on several occasions, since it, since it encourages extremist individuals and groups to carry out similar actions.